Howdy y'all, this is a uh, quick review <clears throat> of my Stag Arms Model 8 Piston Driven AR. Um, I've had this gun in Upper for quite a while now. Um, they were of course purchased together as a complete firearm. Um, of course my previous video I showed you the Bear Creek Arsenal 50 Beowulf Upper that I'm running. Um, but this is the Upper that came with the gun. This is my current 5.56 Upper. Eventually I'm going to get a dedicated uh, lower for my 50 bay wolf, but uh, this gun from the factory pretty much came stock um, All that was on this was literally just a regular m4 style buttstock uh, the uh, pistol grip was a standard a2 pistol grip um, Standard m4 hand guards the nice thing that did come with it is some Midwest Industries flip up front and rear sights and of course those are steel uh, they are not uh, polymer so they're very, very nice, very heavy-duty sight. Um, as, as a piston-driven AR, it, it does run very clean. Um, a lot of guys will say that they run them dry. That's fine if you want to do that, but in my opinion, you should still lube your bolt carrier because, well, more lube, less wear and tear. So that's just kind of a no-brainer. But um, what I did to this rifle to just kind of spruce it up a little bit is, of course, I did add the... I've got plenty of Magpul butt stocks, and I did run a Magpul MOE on this for a while, but I upgraded to the UTG Pro. Now, what's nice about this is it actually has battery compartments in the back that are waterproof and watertight, so I've got some double A's in there that I need to take out because, of course, I was running an EOTech 512 on here, um, but, of course, the EOTech has been moved over to my 50 Beowulf rig, so now I'm running a Ronin Model P10 red dot uh, which of course is a led 50,000 hours just like an aim point but of course much much less expensive and so far great little optic waterproof shockproof all that jazz uh has a two m two moa dots real nice and crisp um running the uh, magpul k2 grip uh hex mag of course the magpul angle four grip magpul rail covers and i do have a magpul ladder rail cover on the top rail section here um, the only downside to this firearm that I do not like is there's only an, a, one additional adjustment for the piston. Um, of course, in, in the far position, of course, is, you know, on a run. You can turn it off so the gun will still fire, but it'll just pretty much fire in like a single shot. So if you have it in the off position, if you fire around, then of course you have to physically pull back the charging handle to eject the case, let another one go in, fire it, repeat process. Um, I know a lot of guys use that for like long range competition and stuff, so that doesn't really interest me. Um, that's the only downside is it does not have any more adjustments to run the piston harder if the gun gets dirty. Um, my dad, he actually has a SIG model 5.56, Piston driven AR and the thing I like about that is it does have several different piston settings So if it gets really really dirty or you get mud snow whatever dirt sand grit inside of the gun uh, You can actually choose to run the piston harder for a short period of time So it'll actually cycle and that's a cool feature um, But other than that, I love the gun um, It shoots great. I've had no issues with it when I first got it It did for some reason have an issue with some Tapco magazines, uh, but that was only two mags, and I don't know what the issue was. They looked fine, but all other Tapcos ran fine. Magpoles run fine. Um, these standard uh, USG mags run just great. Um, I even ran my 50 Beowulf magazine through it, and it cycled just fine with 5.56 and 2.23. So, um, Stag, to my knowledge, does not make this gun anymore. I cannot find it on their website. And only a few dealers actually had this model in stock. Um, it is rather on the pricey side. I want to say I paid twelve hundred for mine, uh, but that was my goodness, that was several several years ago when I purchased this. So um, it's a great gun. Uh, if you want a piston AR, if you can find one and you can get a good price on it, used or new, because there's still a few new ones floating out there, uh, grab it. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than the Adams Arms. A buddy of mine has one. It's a great gun. Um, but I just, I like stag, uh, stag's my go-to. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, place them in the comments there. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll have another video for you guys here in a few days. Later.